What up, folks? I'm back once again doing another video game review, and this time I'm reviewing Double Dragon 2 for the Nintendo Game Boy, and it's by um, Acclaim, and it was searched as a sequel to the first Double Dragon game from Game Boy that was made by Trey West, and it, it's pretty much a two-player co-op by using the um, cable link, and pretty much the plot is that Billy Lee is being um, being hunt, uh, hunted by a gang called the Scorpions because one of the unnamed member has been like killed by Billy Lee and the leaders of the Scorp the leader of the Scorpions is this guy named um, Anderson and honestly I don't know too much about this uh, antagonist but Apparently he's like pretty like hard to face, you know. There's like ten, um, three. There's three missions that's divided up into ten stages. Now, now this is the only uh, Double Dragon game that I'm aware of that the missions are divided in. The, the each mission is, is divided into divided into a certain number of stages like this. And um and compared to um the rest of the um Double Dragon games in the franchise, it also has the least number of moves too in, t in terms of punches and kicks. And as far as the uh the stages themselves is they're pretty much you're fighting in the streets and the Subway, subway cars, build, buildings, and elevators. Now, for some reason, somebody from a claim back then decided to not have weapons for Billy and Jimmy Lee to um, use, which leads to this question I have. Who made that particular decision for Billy and Jimmy Lee not to have any uh, weapons to use against thugs in the game, cause mainly because, number one, the using weapons in the, using weapons in the, um, in Double Dragon is, is a staple of the franchise, and not having weapons in Double Dragon 2 for Game Boy just didn't make any sense, and number two, it, it became a standard in the first Double Dragon game. In, in the beat em up genre as a whole. So, not having uh, weapons, obviously, it made no sense. Not having weapons in, in Double Dragon 2 for Game Boy just didn't make any sense. It was a stupid decision that was made. I don't, it really don't matter who made it, it was like really a dumb decision, in my opinion. Plus, you have like different bosses, like uh, a knife man, first um, boss of the game, which is um, a boxer, which is took, which was unexpected, but it, but it is a nice addition, even though uh, the boxer can be frustrating. Now, the graphics and um, design of of Double Dragon 2 for Game Boy are pretty good. And I can honestly say that they're better than the first Double Dragon game for Game Boy. Now the gameplay wise, it is pretty decent, okay, but at the same time, it just, the fact that it lacks, the fact that it lacks the, the number of moves and there's no weapons for you to use is pretty much the biggest gripe that I have with, with it. And the, the soundtrack is it, pretty good and, and as far and it's pretty much better than the soundtrack from the first Double Dragon game from Game Boy. And they and I do like the the plot of the game because they went in a different direction and in introducing a different game. And I wish they that they had that um the 
Scorpions were in more double dragon games, you know. And, and they explain where it came from, you know. Now, they did take a few steps forward with this game in terms of the graphics and uh, graphics and design of Double Dragon 2, but they took a few steps backwards with with have, with um, Jimmy and Billy not having any weapons to use against the thugs and the lack of uh, moves they can pull off, you know. With, with that, it is um, it is a decent game and it is kind of worth checking out, you know. As far as the score is concerned, I would definitely give this one a seven. Now, with that being said, if you like uh, Double Dragon 2 for uh, Game Boy, you can mention it in the comment section. If you have the same gripes as I do with it, you can also mention that. If you like this um, review with Double Dragon, you can don't hesitate to thumbs it up. You can share it on um, Facebook or Twitter or something like that. And don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Big Majority Fan 12, signing off.